Building the Future of Chinese Veterinary Medicine Through Advanced Education in the United States. The China Scholarship Council, Kansas State University, the International Veterinary Collaboration for China, Banfield Pet Hospital, and the Chinese Veterinary Medical Association are collaborating to achieve this mission by providing qualified Chinese students a chance to study in the United States. I have finished the whole veterinary medication education uh, program in China, and I believe pursue a vet education program here in the U.S. could help me to understand more about the strength of both these two education systems. And thinking that my experience may benefit both China and the U.S., I just want to bring some new things back to China. Following an interview process each year, the program selects up to 10 students from agricultural universities in China to study pre-veterinary courses for a year at Kansas State University and gain valuable hands-on experience. I just love the courses that I'm taking now that is horse science. Before that, I don't have any interaction with the horses in China because I grew up in a metropolitan cities. There's no place that you can raise a horse near your home. And before I took that class, horse is just a horse-shaped organism in my head. But after I took that class, I know horse have different breeds, colors, and they have markings on their head and four limbs. That was interesting. The pre-veterinary program allows students to adjust to life and to how classes are taught in the United States. The, the one-year pre-vet program helps us to get used to the, the culture environment and, uh, and making adjustments earlier. If we suddenly we come to vet school, we have to make adjustments and the, the pre-vet classes is uh, pretty similar to the vet school lectures. So we get used to the teaching style here uh, in, in the United States. Participating students apply to veterinary programs at K-State or other partnering universities in the U.S. With the year of study in the U.S. behind them, students can better focus on the challenges faced by all veterinary students once they enter the professional program, including a challenging schedule of classwork. At K-State, the effort to keep up with all the new material is assisted by the use of tablet computers. The tablet we're using is really helpful, so it saves me a lot of time for printing stuff out so we can take notes on the tablet, we can download everything we want, and it's just like a notebook, a real notebook. Actually, I spent like a week to get used to the electronic way to study, but finally I feel that it's really convenient to do it this way. Most afternoons during the first year of veterinary school are spent in anatomy lab. I don't have a lot of dissection experience in China before, but here we have a lab almost every day. I have the chance to dis dissecting different animals every week, and during the dissection, I can get to know the structures of the animals much better than just listening in the lecture class. The China Scholarship Council has committed more than $13 million to support the Chinese veterinary students for their four-year DVM training. Students who participate in the scholarship program will help build the future of veterinary medicine in China by taking what they learn in the United States and returning home to practice. I'm a kind of person that's good at learning by comparing things. That may be the most common characteristic of veterinarians in the world because we just keep comparing diseases between different species. What a bone should be like in cats, in dog, in horse. I just want to compare to figure out the difference and also make some difference when I go back to China for our own veterinary education program. What I want to tell to, to people uh, who, who, who can see this video that uh, China is a great country, I love it, but uh, the veterinary medicine uh, education or, and profession in China has a long way to go to reach uh, the top level and uh, let's make effort to, to reach it. To learn more about the scholarship program and how to support it, visit the U.S. China Center for Animal Health website.